Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, be sure to hit that subscriber button. Let's grow this family together. Also be sure to check out my podcast with my cousin at The Dima Podcast for the latest and greatest and just like the best vibes ever. You'll thank me later. You will, I know you will. So what do I have today? I went to Sephora. I mean, where else would I have gone? during the day. I'm super excited. I picked up Fenty Beauty, like five different things we're going to try together today. And I used Fenty Beauty a long time ago, right when it first came out. So like prime time when Rihanna launched the line and then I never really just followed up with it. I think I used the foundation, like the tall glass bottle. And then I had like some blushes, some highlighters. They were great from what I can remember, but I just, it was one of those things that I was like, okay, let's try it. And then I never really went back to get it. Maybe I didn't like it. I don't know. So we're going to give it another shot. And I was walking across the Fenty counter today and I saw so many new things. I was like this foundation, this blush. I also love that she's recently launched a lot of cream products. That's my vibe lately. The brand has elevated so much in terms of her products. Like there's so many things. There were so many, I was overwhelmed, but of course the things that I wanted, they didn't have my shade. So I just grabbed a few of the things that I wanted to try and that they had my colors in. So I got a foundation, cream blush. This one looks insanely good. Some lip shine situation, a like eye under eye brightener, which like we love that. And then a cream bronzer. So yes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my full face using these products for the first time. My first impression, if you're interested in seeing all of these Fenty Beauty products on me, then please continue to watch this video. As always, I have my receipt here so I will give you the price and cost of everything and I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I have nothing on my face except some mascara and I've already prepped my skin with like uh, primer and moisturizer and all that stuff. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to dive into is this Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint Foundation. This does cost 32 US dollars, not bad. And it says it's a light to medium coverage for all skin tones. It's supposed to blend and blur out with an instant perfection satisfaction and it's supposed to be light as air so obviously i'm into it like i put on so many different things on top of my foundation that i want to keep the foundation as light wear as possible most i'll do is like a medium coverage i stay away from full coverage but i do need it every now and then when i'm like i need have discoloration i have massive breakouts which gotta love being a girl but for like day to day i'm always navigating towards like tinted moisturizers light wear foundation so this is supposed to be that let's see i am in the color 12 from what i can tell i, I barely tested it on myself it might not be my exact color but should be close one thing i'm going to say is rihanna went all the way when it comes to shades there were so many shades at least 50 i feel like um so you will definitely find your color. There's no way they won't have your color. And this is probably one of those things where you won't have to mix it because there are so many shades. There's warm, there's neutral warm, there's olive warm. There's there's just like every shade of everything. And I love that. So we're gonna give her full credit for that. This is such a cute packaging, by the way. I love this packaging. There's a good amount in here. And it's like a little, like a liquid drop situation. So I'm just gonna put it directly on my beauty blender, like that amount right there. We're just gonna put it on our skin. Okay. I'm always like anxious going in for the first time, but I just dab it in like that, like that. Okay. She smells good. She smells like, she smells, is that, I can't tell if that's her or the beauty blender. <laughs> I just washed my beauty blender, so. This coverage is great. For light to medium, you can see it's covering immediately because I don't have any foundation here and look at the difference. So that all over the cheek is covering really nicely and it feels light. For some odd reason, my skin is like 17 different colors. My face is like undertone is red. My next undertone is olive. So like I just never match and that's fine. Cause we make it work with the bronzer and the concealer. It's just impossible to make it like correctly, like perfectly match. But at the end of the day, if you can get as close as possible, it's fine. Like you can see it's not like gonna perfectly match but it'll be close enough. It's definitely feeling like a tinted moisturizer, but it's definitely applying like a good medium coverage. And I love that. Okay, so there we go. Fully, fully covered. I gotta say, this is really beautiful. It sits really nicely on your skin. It feels like skin and it looks like skin. So that's always amazing. I love the way that it's looking on the skin and I really love the application with a beauty blender. This is also something that I imagine will apply on very nicely with a makeup brush really really good i'm really into it let's see how everything else works so far so good okay, so i'm most excited about this product that we're going to go into next this is not your typical concealer it says that it's a bright fix 
eye brightener and this is in the shade deep butter this does cost 26 us dollars that's kind of a lot i feel like i mean it's it's not a lot but it's definitely more than like your average concealer hopefully it works good enough to be worth that cost it says here that it instantly hydrates and brightens and blurs your under eye again light as air so it's a light wear which is nice it's not going to give you like that full coverage under eye effect but it's buildable so if you want to add more you can definitely add more it's made to directly go right under your eyes it's like literally like a little lip gloss but for under the eye this is made for like color correcting i'm going to use it as a like general concealer but yeah there were quite a few shades okay so i'm squeezing some out here and i'm just gonna go right under the eye like that okay and you can even kind of rub it with this like applicator because it's like made to like massage like right under your eye like that it looks really bright and that's fine because i'm all about the bright under eye but okay it's very uh creamy it's extremely creamy but it looks like it's drying a little bit so i'm just gonna go ahead and with my beauty blender and start blending it like this oh it's so light this looks extremely bright don't panic it's fine I prefer a bright under eye and then when you put everything together it looks fine but wow 10 out of 10 for its blending application like you see how nice and smoothly it's blending it's almost like melting into my skin and a little goes a long way I may have actually even put too much but it's okay wow it looks really heavy and thick but once it settles into your skin it's not going to be a full coverage concealer so if you like like a thick concealer a creamy concealer this is not going to give you that you're not going to like this but if you like like an everyday, like a light concealer that's just going to brighten under the eye, like with over a tinted moisturizer, then this is like good for everyday. If you have a lot of lines and creases under your eye, you want to stay away from thick, creamy concealers. You want more liquid formulas like this that are lightwear that just brighten. You get that concealer effect without it looking too creasy and cakey. So this is definitely made for folks who need a little bit more attention under the eye, but don't want to use something too thick so that you don't recognize it too much but it just brightens and so you could see that it's like hydrated under there. I love this. When I blended this, it looked immediately more like natural. I'm a fan of like light wear concealer too. So for like every day, I really, really like this. It is $26, but I think it's worth it. Like if you need it for this reason where you just want to brighten under the eye, you don't want something that's going to be too heavy. This is definitely that. And there are multiple shades also. There's even I think like a green shade or a red shade for like um, darker under eyes, things like that. So kind of cool and easy to play with, but okay. I like this one a lot. All right, let's move on. I'm really excited to try the cream bronzer next. This is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. I picked up the color Macchiato. That's number 03. I just like love this packaging. Like, look at that. I thought it said queen. I was going to be like, yeah, I am. <laughs> but no, it says cream. <laughs> cream Fenty Beauty and lately I'm all about the cream now I will say that the color selection there are I think six or nine shades but it goes from like I felt like four of them were all the same kind of similar to this which I feel like this isn't going to be as dark as I want it to be and then I went to like really dark chocolate and then like dark dark chocolate which were way too dark for me so I had some trouble playing around with the colors but maybe they look lighter than they are on the skin so let's just dive right into it it's a nice little compact like this it's not often you get cream bronzers like in a compact like this I'm just gonna go into it and it comes right onto the brush so that's nice Ooh, oh that's actually really nice it's not I like like a nice like warm bronzer but this is like glowy and it's like tan like it makes you tan it's applying very nicely it's blending very nicely like if you look at the difference I would probably want one shade darker, but in general, still working for me. Not bad. I'm just gonna bring it on my forehead here. Bring some color back into my skin. Also, like if you have a foundation that's maybe like too light for you, or you have a hard time matching your neck, like I do, um, you, cream bronzer is gonna be your best friend. This is kind of like also, like you don't have to necessarily think highlight and contour with cream bronzer. Just think warming up your face. So like I use cream bronzer sometimes to even out my foundation. So 10 out of 10 for the way that this blends, even the application with like a harsh brush like this, it still came on really nicely. It's not as pigmented as it looks, but I also didn't grab a dark enough color. But the problem was that the next color over was way too dark. So I don't know, but I'm not crazy about the color selection, but in general, the, the concept, the formula, the blending is very nice. This does retail for 34 US dollars. So again, yeah, not crazy about it. Probably won't purchase it again, but in general for every day, for a last minute or quick warmth of the face, I might use it, but the color selection kind of 
made it a little difficult for me. So it's okay, not bad. So far, not too bad. I mean, we don't hate everything yet. Okay, jumping into this next product. This is a cream blush. This is the Fenty Beauty Double Cheeked Up Freestyle Cream Blush Duo. And there are two colors in here. It's called Peony Droppa and Malibu's. Malibu's, I don't know. I, these names are out of, I like can't. First of all, this packaging, again, it's like this purple chrome, like compact that like has a mirror and then there's two shades in here and when I saw this I was like these colors like come to me I am a blush fanatic I am a cream blush fanatic I'm just gonna go in with my fingers I think I'm gonna jump into this like this hot thing we you know I might mix them why not so really quick I'm just gonna and the warmth of your fingers really like warm it up to go into my cheeks like this oh my gosh oh it's like a hot pink like and I love that like oh I'm just gonna go ahead and like Press this into the apples of my cheek like this. For like a nut. Oh my god, she is a rose. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I love blush. I literally love but I can't have enough of it. Already, that's just one layer. Also, application fire, pigment fire. Everything's great. I knew it would be. I'm gonna do you guys a favor and I'm gonna also go into this color because why not? I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this. This is a little bit darker, but still very pink. And we're just gonna we're just gonna give them a quick little introduction on the cheeks here show them some love it's just like giving also i haven't set my face with any powder or anything so these are cream products and liquid and nothing is really oily i am naturally an oily person and so far it's been sitting on my face nicely so i do love that okay you already know i'm giving the blush a 10 out of 10 highly highly recommend okay so before i jump into the final product which is a lip shine i'm just going to set my face with some powder just so that everything i've done doesn't really move Okay, so let me go ahead and just finish out my eyebrows and then we'll finish out the whole look with the lip. Okay, I went ahead and just filled in my eyebrows and then I also just set my under eye with some Laura Mercier translucent powder, that's it. I haven't set my blush or bronzer or anything else and it still looks really beautiful. The skin looks nice and flawless. By the way, I got so excited about this blush that I forgot to tell you it's 34 US dollars and it's worth every penny, go get it. Okay, the final product that we're gonna jump into is this Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. There's just so many words that go into the product names, like slip shine, shine, shiny lipstick, shiny lipstick, shine, slot. I don't care. This is in the color Makeout Break. Of course, you already know it's a nude color. I only go towards the nudes. It's rare that you come across like me wearing a red lip or like an orange lip or any lip that's not nude. Such an adorable packaging. It's like a little lipstick and it says here that it's a sheer full-on shine moisturized lipstick that's supposed to be very comforting to the lip. It's not like a matte. It's not going to be shiny like a gloss. It's sheer. So I love sheer and it smells good. It smells like chocolate. Going on with this color. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so like, it's too nude. So wait, I got you. Hold on. And this is going to be one of those colors that look great in the center. I'm getting a little liner. Brought some color back into it. Now I'm going to go in with this color in the center because it's way too nude. It didn't look as nude as it is. Okay, so it's beautiful. It's shiny, sheer. It's soft on the lip. It feels like a nice lip gloss, but it doesn't appear like a glossy lip gloss. I'm not crazy about this color. It's not going to be something that I'm always going to wear, but in terms of the formula and the texture, I think the concept is great. This does cost 24 US dollars. It's honestly, I'm not crazy about it. Don't know if I'll buy it again. Pretty average, but it's it's like a good vibe on the lips though. Feels good. Smells good. That is it guys for all of these Fenty Beauty products. I will say my favorite is definitely the concealer. I love the foundation. The contour, the cream contour is going to be a no for me. For me. For me. You might love it. It just didn't work for me. I'm not crazy about this lip shine. It's going to be a no from me. The blush is probably like number one. If you're going to get anything, go get this blush because look at that. Look at that. And keep in mind, I haven't set anything else. I just put the bare minimum powder right under my eye and that was it. They're all not bad. I'm very, very impressed. I think Rihanna's incredible. Her vision, her mission, the brand is great. There's nothing but good things out there said about Fenty Beauty and I'm really glad I gave it another shot. Definitely going to revisit some of these products in the future, but in general, yeah, let me know what you think. I will list everything in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, until next time, I will see you later.